Good morning and good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. <laughs> so today we are headed to actually go bowling with a couple of friends of ours and their kids. We were supposed to go to the Crayola experience and then we ended up having to postpone that. So we will be doing that at some point in the near future. However, today we're gonna go bowling at Ferkin and Kegler, which is like a restaurant bowling alley. So that's what we're gonna go check out now. But they're doing so much construction. They're just doing construction on every single roadway in Florida. It's nuts. It's funny because we show you guys all the construction updates for the theme parks. So I feel like we need to show you the construction updates for the road too, for some reason. It's like ingrained in me to show you the construction. So sorry if that's not very interesting. <laughs> Here it is, the Firkin and Kegler Family Entertainment Center, British Restaurant and Pub, oh. Events Bowling Arcade. I didn't know it was a British pub. Me either. Oh. But it's very large, you can see, here's the end of the building. It's huge. It also is missing all of its awnings from the hurricane, which is very common right now in Florida. I can see where they got the British pub vibe from. Like here, I think that's what this is. Yeah, well this whole thing is kind of like... Space invaders. It's like space invaders. But it does... I didn't know this was like a game in Musters. Yeah, it sort of does feel like that. There's a few games and then... Oh no, yeah, there's kind of a lot in here, aren't there? Wow. It's not like a ton of video games. It's kind of like a Disney arcade. There's a few of them in here though. Most of the same stuff that we see at the Disney arcades when we go and do those tours. What is this? It's called Dead Heat. You're gonna be a race car driver. Is that how you drive? Okay. I feel like I'm a real backseat driver. You, you haven't changed spots. <laughs> Whoa. Here's a look at the bowling alleys. They're very nice looking. I can't wait to go bowling. It's been a while since I've been bowling. Came outside because some people are doing some remote control sailboats out here in the lake. So we're getting ready to bowl. I'm putting on my tall socks so that the shoes don't touch me. It's so funny because Jen got like normal bowling shoes, right? I, I really like these, these are cool. But the ones that they gave me, they look like vans almost. Pretty neat. So how do you know what size ball to get? I think. Is it based on your weight? Like is it is it like your weight divided by four plus 12 minus five? Yeah. Okay, I want this orange one just because I love the color orange, but I don't know if it's actually my size ball. See, here's a, here's a size 12, it's too small for me. I think I need to go with this 15, even though I don't want to. It seems so heavy. It's pretty heavy. I like that it's like purple. Nice, okay, now help me pick out mine. Okay, that one. What do you think? Yeah, I think I like it. I All right. It's, really good. it's a size 10. Yeah, okay. Which one was mine again? You're the green one. No, you're a purple, you're a purple. And this purple? Yeah, you're the grape ball. The grape ball. All right. Ooh, look at that form. Whoa! <laughs> you did pretty good. There's one pin right in the center. <laughs> oh, are you gonna get it? Are you gonna get it? Oh, oh, you so I close, did, so close. Ouch, <laughs> well, that was pretty good. <laughs> you got about three. Whoa, you really winged it. <laughs> what you're not doing is you're not pointing your thumb. I don't know how to bowl. You gotta point your thumb. I Please come off of my hand. Maybe maybe the holes are too tight on my finger. Oh, maybe. It, it sticks for a second. Oh yeah, you need you need bigger holes. Let's see. They turned on the jams, so okay, now I we think, know it's real. I think I have it figured out. Now. Okay, do it. Right? Yeah. Ready? You did okay. I think I went too far. No, I think you did really good. I gotta go back this way now. We gotta go back. Oh my gosh! You did it! Oh dang! Well, you know, you don't. You need what is it? Pain? No pain, no gain. No pain, pain never no. Never bothered me anyway. Yeah, that. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Whoa! King of the bowling alley. You did it. I knew you would. Here's what I don't really understand, right? 
So the bowling alley is basically empty. Yeah. There's only three lanes being taken up. Right. And they're literally right next to us. It's like kind of a big bowling alley. There's no other lanes except for these four with the lights on. Maybe these what? are the only ones that work. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think what I was doing wrong is I was going too fast. Oh, were I you? Slow down. Okay. No, I need to go faster. Oh no! <laughs> Somehow. Go, gotta go quick. We ordered a virtual plethora of bowling alley food. It's pretty good. I mean, it looks okay. It kind of looks like a school lunch. It kind of tastes like a school lunch. Oh no! I'm gonna do a, a drone shot on you. A drone shot? Yeah. I wasted a drone shot on you. I mean, ooh. Oh, I like that little kick you did. Look at that. Oh, no, oh. still one left. What the heck? Nobody was watching, but I just got a strike. If, if I didn't see it, it didn't happen. I don't what? believe you. Uh, I don't but, believe you. What? Oh. You got lipstick in my white Valentino bag? See? Oh, no, Jen, please roll a ball. Sorry. Notice you only have three frames remaining. There's my strike right there. I'm gonna do this overhead shot again. I like that. I thought it was kind of neat looking. Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh. Yeah. You gotta get a spare now. We'll see. <laughs> I'll try. I believe in you. I like that there's a caveman that does the animations. You're like, Jen, please go already. <clears throat> Jen, please notice. My ball, my ball doesn't come out yet. My ball, please. Please notice we sent high bowling Please, balls. my ball. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> so that was just like a quick bowling trip. I think this is going to turn into more of like a, a home vlog. I think so. Yeah, we just, we wanted to meet up with some of our friends because we haven't seen them in so long and they're not like vloggy people. They're just like regular life people. So we're like, let's meet up with you guys and the kids and do something fun. We'll go bowling. Yeah. Let's head home though. Yeah, we've got to go see Bandit. It looks like we made it home in just the right amount of time. Just started raining. Wanted to give you guys a progress update on the puzzle. It's starting to come together a little bit. Like there's a Mickey right there. The rest of it's all just nothingness. So I have to figure out like steps. That's what I've started on over here. Like I've started putting together the steps and I got a little bit of the rock work together over here. But then the rest of it's all kind of just like magic sprays and stars. I have a feeling it's gonna get hard towards the end. So here's the question for you guys. Do you ever, with the infinite amount of movies that we have at our fingertips, have trouble finding something to watch? We settled on Brigsby Bear. I don't know what this is gonna be like. It's got Kyle Mooney in it from Saturday Night Live. It's about a guy that watches a show and then the show gets canceled and he decides to finish the show himself. I think that's the gist of it. Well, that was an enjoyable movie. It wasn't like the greatest movie. It was very slow, like uh, very, very slow, but it was really enjoyable to watch. There were some really funny parts, very much my sense of humor. For example, he escapes a situation by throwing a TV out, this, this doesn't sound funny now when I'm saying it, but when it <laughs> happened, it was hysterical. He threw a TV out a window and it was, he, somebody came up to him and goes, how are you going to escape? And he goes, it's very complicated. <laughs> and then the next scene is him throwing a TV through a window. And it's just funny. I think I was also blown away by the cast of this movie. Oh yeah, me too. There was Mark Hamill was in it, Claire Danes was in it. So completely random change of events. This is actually from today. Just got done at the Samford Airport. We flew over top of Disney, so you guys will look forward to that video tomorrow. But stop by downtown Samford to grab a bite to eat. It's very old and very small town feeling. We stopped off at the Corner Cafe. So we're eating lunch. I thought for sure this was gonna kind of be like fast food type stuff, but this ended up looking really nice. Got a Cuban. Came with some, some kettle chips and this is blue cheese coleslaw. Adam got the same thing except for he added a bowl of chili in there and a Cobb salad on the side there. That actually looks really nice. Also, I'm here with Adam, by the way. I don't know. We went in a plane today. The place was pretty good. 
Like it was very light and nice. It had good flavors and they were very, very nice there. And for the price, I got quite a bit of food. Yeah. I was expecting, because they were doing a third sample of the soup, salad, and the sandwich. They were gonna be real small. But that was a full meal. It was, it was good. So if you guys are ever at the Sanford Airport and you need a quick bite, I'd go there. If you want something a little bit more in depth, definitely go to the German restaurant up here. This is the German restaurant. Best German restaurant in all of Orlando. This is Hollerbach's Willow Tree Cafe. So if you guys are looking for good German food, it's amazing. Much better than Epcot's German place. Much, much better. And then right next to the German restaurant, there's this art place with all kinds of weird things put into the wall. And this is an artist gallery. It actually has uh, studios too. Where if you're an artist, you can rent studio space. Look, there's an old Nokia phone there. I wonder how long this watch was ticking while it was in the concrete here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this conglomeration of, of home vlog where we did a little bit of bowling and then we came back home and did a little bit of home vlog stuff, but not very much. <laughs> uh, so with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>